I've been working on the railroad. Oh man, this is boring. Let's go shoot some guns. Welcome back, you dirty dogs, to the next episode of The Shoddy Show. Today, we're going to be comparing the difference between old-fashioned black powder and brand new 44 Magnum. Today, we finally brought out our ballistic gel. It's a little bit moldy, but hey, who cares? We're going to shoot it. For our black powder revolver, we're going to be using Pyrodex P powder. We're going to be loading it using a 45 ACP shell. And then we've got our Henry repeating action. Chambered in 44 Magnum, we're going to be using 144 grain hollow points, federal ammunition. We've got our 45 ACP casing here, loaded up about two thirds of the way. There's our 45 caliber lead ball. And we're using number 11 CCI percussion caps. That's where it went in right there. And did it go clear through? Holy cow, it did. There's the exit wound right there. Wow, okay, so black powder is a little bit stronger than I thought it would be. Okay, we're back out at about 30 feet. Let's see what the hollow points do in 44 Magnum. Well, I think it's safe to say that the 44 Magnum did a lot more damage. There's the entrance hole right there. And it completely tore through and just ripped this thing apart. There's the exit hole, but it, the impact of it just tore this thing in half. Well, not the results I was expecting, dirty dogs, but hey, let's shoot this thing from point blank now. Well, you dirty dogs, like I said before, not exactly the results that I was expecting, but hey, still got some pretty cool shots. And to make it up for you dirty dogs, we're gonna see a bullet in slow motion now. Get ready. Alright you dirty dogs, thanks for watching until the end of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, and share this movie with your friends so that I can get a few more views. Thanks guys, have a good one.
like and subscribe. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Did we miss it again? Oh no, we finally hit it.